All right, we are in the small community of Anchorage in Louisville, Kentucky. And I think there's a little trail around here that we're gonna look for and go for a walk. So excited about that possibility. And excited to sneak in alive. I didn't think we were gonna have a live walk tonight, but just got done with work. I hope everybody's having a lovely evening. Looking for the trailhead of the Anchorage Two Mile Trail. We should be right down here. I think we are on it. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Isn't this a pretty place? Hi, Rodney. How are you? Let's see if we get any interference from the trees. It's a pretty creek. Daryl's in the chat. Hello, Daryl. How are you? Good to see you tonight. So we are in a small community in called Anchorage. And we're taking a little walk on a two mile trail. It should be very nice. It's a pretty evening. She doesn't like getting She asked me. Weather check. It is 77 degrees and sunny. Hello. Lots of puppy dogs on this trail. I didn't think we were going to get in a live stream today, so I'm thrilled that we actually are, and we actually have a recorded video that's going to be coming up later tonight. Oh, look through here, in this yard. You see the deer? There's deer laying down across in the yard over there. I see one, two, three. That's pretty cool. What's up, Joanne? We're checking out some deer in this person's yard. That's pretty neat. And that one over here is just laying down. That's pretty neat.
Well, we've already seen some wildlife. I honestly wasn't expecting any wildlife on this little trail because we're in the suburbs. Hey, Joanne's here and Karina's here and Daryl's here. Rodney's here. This is good stuff. What's up, everybody? Man, I saw some deer hanging out. That is pretty neat. This is a pretty trail. Oh, that's pretty. And look at this big tree. Wow. It's a pretty evening. There was a really cool looking uh, pub up at the trailhead called The Anchor. And I may have dinner there. Let's see what the menu is. But it looked really cool. Hey, Penelope. So cool to see you. And it is uh, shorts weather. So, got on shorts and the, I went painting with these shorts. So I've got white paint all over my shorts. Neil, what's up Neil? Super cool to see you. Oh, look at this bridge. This is nice and more puppies. Hello. Well, we're crossing over a creek. Check this out. It's pretty. Mm, you can smell the honeysuckle. There you go. I tried to do this earlier the other day. You can see you pull the stem out through the bottom. See if we can show this. Right on the nip of the little stamen when you pull it out is a little dot of honey. And you can put it in your mouth and it tastes like honey. So, pretty neat. Hello. Kind of like a little enchanted forest back here. It's pretty nice. Hey, what's up? Roy's here. You can see we're probably about an hour from sunset. A horse crossing? Really? Interesting. In the suburbs too. That's very interesting. So I guess that's a, a horse path? Man, what a pretty night. 
amphitheater that way. That's interesting. So we're gonna go on a two mile walk tonight, which is gonna be about, what, 40 minutes? Something like that. And of course the iPhone is doing all kinds of fun things with the sunlight. We saw some deer earlier. I'm keeping my eye out for a few more. Man, this is so pretty. Exactly what I needed at the end of today, for sure. And you can see right through here, see the house? We're actually in the suburbs. It just feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty neat. Really well done to this neighborhood. I've never walked here before. But I'm putting it on the list of places that I can unwind in Louisville. What's the, the Japanese term? Shinrin yoku? Forest bathing? Immerse yourself in nature? Do a reset of your spirit? Oh, this is a good one. Look at this bridge. So cool. This bridge looks like it's built over a little bit of a gorge here. Tough to tell under all the trees, but it is a beautiful day. Look at that. Uh, and here's a, a creek down here too. Let's see if I can poke through the trees here and show you. Some bumblebees getting some nectar. Neil, this is a good one, I think. I think this is a really nice park. Like a wonderful, wonderful place. I would walk here all the time, I think, if I lived up in Louisville. Look at this. Just lovely. It's gonna be a pretty sunset tonight, I think. So later tonight, uh, the pre-recorded walk is of a convenience store. So it's a Bucky's, which is the largest convenience store brand in the world. 
not largest in terms of number of stores, largest in terms of uh, their stores are actually the biggest convenience stores in the world in terms of size. Pretty massive. Hmm. Looks like we've got a decision to make up here, left or right. But I think it's a circle. So we can go left or right. And we'll come back to this spot. Let's go right. Does that work for everybody? Let's do it. This is so pretty. Look at the little white wildflowers. Hey, Fox Tech is here. How are you, Fox? There's a blackbird right here. Red winged blackbird too. You can see the red right at the top of his wings. Whoa. I hope you saw him. <laughs> Penelope on the premiere tonight. Uh, I just wanted to show you the place. Uh, last time I was there, it was like overwhelmingly crowded. Look at this. Yeah, it was like overwhelmingly crowded last time we were there. And this time it's it's a little bit less crowded, but it is still crowded. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm not sure what these little white flowers are, but they're really pretty. There's a lot of them out in the field here. I've been doing some research on uh, all the COVID rules for going to England. We leave for London in like three weeks. So that's going to be pretty fun. Oh, this looks magical. Good night. Wow. Um, but it looks like there's no real restrictions on getting in to the UK right now. But quite a bit on coming back to the US. So need some negative test results coming back in all right look at this field isn't that pretty matthew says that the flowers are harebells karina says it's ragweed i choose to believe matthew <laughs> harebells sounds better than ragweed but i'm not sure oh look it's a sun dog. So when you see a section of rainbow up in the sky, um, it's actually kind of a wide circle around the sun, and that's called uh, that's a sun dog. See, you learned something tonight. S U N D O G, sun dog. When it just it would be a full circle if the water was correct in the sky, but it's just hitting a cloud there at an angle. Yeah, so those are called sun dogs. That is a pretty idyllic Kentucky scene right there. Might be the thumbnail.
You can Google it and look it up. I, I promise you, it's called a sun dog. They're very fleeting usually. Oh, here's a big bug. Spider of some kind. Hmm. S U N D O G Sun Dog. I can use it in a sentence too. Oh, look, it's a swing. And it's really high up off the ground. Hmm. Hmm. Does it look structurally sound? Oh man, it's so high up here. How do I do this? Sorry. Sorry. Okay, we're on the swing now. <laughs> the swing's gonna hold all of us. It doesn't swing very much because you can't use your feet. So I'm using my weight there. Didn't quite work, but it was fun. Sorry about the dizziness. Oh. All right, so we tried to swing. Sun is behind that cloud up there. Yeah, Roy, it was uh, it was quite a load on the swing there. <laughs> but it was fun to sit on a swing. It was really hard to get up there. I had to put the gimbal in my pocket, so I should have given you more of a warning. Sorry about that. Hey, Tom. Tom's here. What's up? It is indeed. Look at this. It is indeed a beautiful night in Kentucky. It's a beautiful day too. I put up a picture on Instagram. Beautiful, beautiful day. And what do we have here? Look at this. Look at this. How about that? Somebody eat one of those and tell me if those are poisonous. <laughs> they look like blackberries, but it was a tree. I didn't feel like dying tonight, so I didn't eat any. Wow, it's 
so pretty out here tonight. put it in wide angle for a minute. Take it all in. This is definitely a fun one. There's some more honeysuckle over here and some more berries. I'm so glad I decided to explore this trail. Tom said, I don't hear city sounds. This is far from the Louisville center. This is in the suburbs of East Louisville. And so if you Google Anchorage, you'll, you'll see this kind of, I guess technically it's a city, but it's inside Jefferson County. Um, so if you, if you Google Anchorage, you'll see that we're, we're not too far from some of the main shopping areas of Louisville. There's a train. but it's, yeah, it's called Anchorage. But it is remarkable how quickly it feels like you're out in the middle of nowhere. And this isn't even a main... Yeah, Tom, the birds love it, and we saw uh, three deer earlier. So nature definitely is finding a home on this trail. And we've been walking for about 30 minutes so far and I think we're just now reaching the turnaround point. Uh, Red Cardinal just flew by too. Uh, that looks like uh, some groundhogs love it too. see if I can find another one of those berry trees. Oh goodness Tom. Tom said he had a, a black bear in Burlington, Vermont. Oh, there's a bird up on top of this post singing to us. It's a robin. Got too close with that zoom. Yeah, this is the turnaround of the trail and we'll head back the other way.
It's our Queen Anne's Lace, but I could totally be wrong. Horticulturalist, easy for me to see. It's good that we've gotten a uh, pretty good signal tonight, even though there's a lot of trees. Sometimes that blows up the signal, but it seems to be pretty steady tonight. Hopefully we'll get to Willow Lake. Did it really? It stays strong. We're starting to enter golden hour. I can hear a frog. Oh, look at these thistles up here. I love thistles. I think they're so pretty. Different stages. Oh, and a bee. <laughs> Hey, 
no back. Doesn't get too much prettier than this. There's a water bird off here to the right. And I'm sure just a million turtles and frogs in here. And this beautiful tree. There's a water bird way out there. So pretty. I am used to around. All right, we should be back. I think we're back in the section with the good connection. You can see the sun is going down behind us and we're starting to get a little bit of golden hour light on the trees. It's a pretty bent. right behind that
And we've got a little wetland back here. Isn't this neat? A little swampy. Oh, this is just lovely. Well, there's some ducks over here. And some bullfrogs. kind of floats on top of the water. It's really aggressive, but Matthew says any turtles. Let's look. They're usually up on the logs. Let's go look at this pile of logs over here. No, I don't see any. I gave a good look. But I didn't see any turtles. I don't know where that goes. But I don't feel like getting ticks tonight. So, we'll go this way. This was a lovely little treat. Very pretty back here. We might get a little bit more buffering up here, but we'll walk right through it. Uh, yeah, Matthew, ticks definitely in Kentucky. Absolutely a problem. You gotta check yourself every time you're out in nature. Make sure you don't get the Lyme disease or... There's actually a, some kind of virus within ticks now that causes a meat allergy of all things. So you can get bit by a tick and become allergic to meat. Which isn't an issue for me, I guess, because I'm a vegetarian, but if I wasn't, that would be a big problem, wouldn't it? Have to change your diet because you got bit by a tick? So yeah, you always gotta check. Found a big one on my dog the other day. Poor Boomer. Oh, look at this. This is a nice place to sit. It's so pretty. And there's a big compass pattern on the bricks.
Leela, really? Did that happen to a friend of yours? I've never heard of an actual person. Uh, I've read news articles about it. That's crazy. That's nuts, wow. So pretty, just lovely. Look at the sky. A very lovely sunset. I wonder if we'll see those deer again when we walk back through. It was three deer, all doe. doe, a deer, a female deer. That's pretty. That is pretty, 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 pretty. Sorry, I'm swinging the camera around, but I, I'm just loving this. Let me go widescreen for you guys real quick. We'll take it all in. Big sky tonight. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, duck just flew by. <laughs> okay, now we're coming up on this big bridge. And the sun is getting pretty low. Not all the way down. Hello. Sounded like she was listening to church or a sermon. Walking back over the bridge. Hmm. 
You're getting a lot less conversation tonight and a lot more contented noises because I am at peace. What's up, Karina? Isn't this a lovely place? We're gonna go look for those, those deer again because not many people were on at the start of the stream when we saw the deer. So hopefully they're still around. They looked pretty happy when we saw them, so they might still be hanging out. I think my favorite part about this trail is the bird noises. Uh oh. <laughs> Hold on. We had the gimbal just die. Uh oh, guys. That never happens. The gimbal battery ran out. You're gonna have to deal with uh, a little bit of shaky cam. I'm so sorry. That never happens. These gimbals hold a charge forever. I'm so sorry. I would just end the walk right here to spare you the shaky cam, but I'm gonna, I wanna see these deer. They're still here. So, my apologies, everybody. I hate that. But it is what it is. So, can't control it. Well, I guess that's not true. You can control it by charging your gimbal before the walk. Hello. So, very sorry that the gimbal died. And I'm going to try and keep this as unshaky as possible. <sighs> That's the first time my gimbal has ever died on stream. Huh. Yeah, it is. I've forgotten it once in Chicago, but I've never had it die. So, a little bit weird. Hope it's okay. Gimbal, are you okay? Poor gimbal. We'll keep going until we can see if the deer are still here. I'll have to watch this back later and see how shaky it is without a gimbal. <laughs> I could try like, I think it's called like the ninja walk that keeps you from shaking. Don't really feel like that though. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah, actually no low battery warning, no chime. It does have an indicator that kind of tells you how much battery you have left. And it it wasn't all the way it wasn't all the way out. I'm going to set this right here for a second and Put the gimbal up. There we go. All right. Put the gimbal up. And up here, believe it or not, at these houses.
is where I saw the deer. They were just chilling in somebody's front yard. So we'll check that out. It's just past this big tree. Hey Daryl, welcome back. We're gonna try and see those deer that we saw earlier. See if they're still out there. That would be neat. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. I said hello and he said good, how are you? <laughs> I do like the bricks on this path. <laughs> Penelope thinks I'd be a hit on Twitch with my non-gimbal cam, <clears throat> potentially. I have created a, a gaming channel on YouTube, but I'm not linking this channel to that channel because I think it's just such a different thing. So I won't be linking it or sharing it or pushing it through this channel, but I am having fun. I like to video game sometimes. Let me see if the deer are still out here. century that that was used. Okay, you guys think the deer are still gonna be there? I don't think so. We were up here. This was the path. Ah, uh, nope. People got home, so the deer are gone. But if you go back to the start of the stream about four minutes in, you'll see the deer. Sorry about that. Yeah, Joanne, I think that person was uh, picking up litter or maybe dog waste. Not sure. All right, I'm going to flip this thing around. There we go. All right, everybody. Great to see you this evening. Thanks so much for coming on another walk with me. It was an absolute blast. Um, so we'll see you again soon. And we have, don't forget, a uh, premiere tonight of Bucky's, the world's largest convenience store. So we'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you so much. Had a blast with you as always. Bye, everybody.